What is up guys, Slight Nasty here from Nasty Gaming. Welcome back to another Battlefield Hardline Weapon Guide. In today's guide, we're going to be covering the first available assault rifle in the operator class and in the game, and that is the RO933. The attachments I like to use are the Cobra Red Dot Sight, and I'll switch to the M145 ACOG Sight for larger maps like Everglades and Dust Bowl. Second attachment I like to use is the extended magazine, then the heavy barrel, and then for the grip, I like to use the stubby grip or the, uh, I think they call it the potato grip. Um, I think that helps out with your accuracy along with, the, and it couples nice with the, uh, the heavy barrel. So let's go over some of the general stats. Now you'll quickly see that the stats aren't that great compared to other guns in the game, for instance like the uh, M416 or the M16, stuff like that, just poop all over this gun. Uh, max damage you have a whopping 20, minimum damage you have uh, 12, so uh, drop off starts at 30 meters, so you'll kill in 5 bullets up to 30 meters, and then from there, your, bullet, uh, your damage per bullet drops all the way down to... 50 meters and after that you'll be killing at a, a whopping 12 damage per bullet after 50 meters so that puts you killing anywhere from 5 bullets up to 10 to 11 bullets at a distance uh, fire rate 800 rounds per minute now that the high fire rate you know it's pretty high for an assault rifle I think the only other assault rifle that has a higher fire rate is the M416 and um, that fire rate really helps out with the with the overall damage of this gun especially up close because uh, you know it's it's all about putting bullets in your enemy and the faster you can do that the better off you are but at the same time with this gun having such a high fire rate it really hinders uh, your accuracy at a you know medium to long range distances because uh, that high fire rate really increases your recoil and this thing has some nasty recoil at, at, at a distance um, you would do better to like burst fire but I find myself um, putting it in uh, single shot mode or semi auto mode uh, that's the two modes it has it has a fully auto mode and a single shot at distance I'll put it in single shot and I find that to be a lot better than trying to burst fire somebody um, and it, it says fire rate burst but it doesn't have like a burst fire rate you have to kinda like feather the trigger is what I'm talking about but muzzle velocity 580 meters per second now when you add a suppressor it drops it all the way down to 320 meters per second so I would say stay away from adding a suppressor to this gun I mean it already has a really low damage at 20 so putting a suppressor on there Anytime you try and kill somebody over that 30 meter range, I mean, you're, it's like you're just shooting with a pea shooter uh, with a suppressor on because it, it's really going to hinder your damage at a, at a distance. Um, magazine size is pretty standard across the board. Every other assault rifle pretty much has the same magazine size of 31. And then um, with the extended magazine, that's why I said you want to use the extended magazine because there's really no other attachment to use that really gives you any you know good benefit I mean you have the now the laser sight does increase your control or I think it might be stability I can't remember uh, but I don't see that being a problem uh, so the extended magazine I would suggest using and uh, and gives you extra five bullets so it bumps your magazine size up to 36 and that's uh, you know that's uh, another person up close because you can kill them five bullets uh, reload time is pretty decent at 2.7 seconds with the empty magazine and if you have ammo left in your magazine it drops it down to 2.3 when you add the uh, the reload threshold you know where you can cancel your animation uh, if you have ammo left in your magazine it drops it down below two seconds which is you know really good uh, it helps out a lot in the close quarter combat so that's pretty much the stats now like I said I'm really enjoying the gun. I've I think I've uh, got like 550 to 570 something kills with it. I have eight gold server stars. So I mean I've been using it since the game come out, and I haven't really had a problem with it. I do get beat by ACWRs and M16s if I don't get my shot off first. But um, that's really the only problem is the uh, damage overall of 20, which absolutely sucks. But if you missed the last guide, it was the MP5. I'll have the link in the description. Make sure to check that out, and I'll see you on the next one. Later.